Hello my friends. It's your silly friend Michelle up here. Look at the sunset today. Looks nice. Well, um, all right, so my contemplation for today up here at the mountain. I spent most of the day today doing all sorts of things, but one of the things I did was I had to take one of my daughters to a new doctor, and her health care is all kind of complicated. And you know, I'm at this point with some stuff you, you always hear, people love to tell you what isn't possible. You know, even when doctors or friends, family, when you're wanting to do something that isn't the norm, a lot of times people will say, well, that's just not possible, or that's impossible, or it goes against the rules, whether they're imaginary rules that people have in their heads, or just that's just the way it always is. So people make up these rules for that can't possibly happen. I'm just a firm believer in that anything can happen. Why do I say that? Because today reminded me to think of all the things that God has done for me, especially the miracles that have happened in my life. A lot of people know I've had a craziness outbreak in our family. We all got sick in 2013 and it resulted in Diamond and I having really, really compromised health and almost died. She almost died. She was in ICU for a while. I was all over the place and doctors had no idea what was wrong with us. And I remember everybody basically just summing up that either both or one of us would, would end up dying. And because it was impossible for our cells to do what they were doing. And it was impossible, you know, for what looked like was going on to be happening. And I can stand here today, my birthday month, today is the 12th, I guess, or the 13th. I don't know which day it is. And I can actually really, really say to you that sometimes I have to remind myself when I hear something is impossible that I and many of my children are living examples of when something that seems totally impossible can be absolutely possible. It's impossible that I have four rare diseases and I'm still talking, walking. It's impossible that I'm out of a wheelchair. It's impossible that she's still alive after all the medications they used were failing and somehow miraculously her heart is still beating and she is still here. So I want to encourage somebody out there who you've lost your childlike wonder with all of this. You've had so many bad things happen to you that you've lost the ability to see God as your father and to think and know that miracles absolutely can still happen. And when somebody tells you that something is just impossible, I don't know about you, but I actually get this thing where I get kind of like, I want to prove them wrong. A plane is going to fly overhead. It's going to be really loud. Actually, it's a couple of planes. We're near, um, I think it's called Luke's Air Force Base here in Arizona. So up in the mountains, sometimes they buzz over, but they went the other direction. So I just want to encourage somebody today who feels like something is impossible. It's not that things are really impossible. Oftentimes you just have to find another way to do it. And so you might have to have a plan B, C, D, E, G, Q, R, S, T, Q, or whatever, <laughs> you know? You might actually have to have a, a different plan in a different way, but I just don't accept that anything is impossible. So I bless you today. I hope you have a really, really wonderful day. I want to thank God for my life. My birthday is on the 25th, and this month, for some reason, I felt called to just come up here to the top of the mountains and just meditate or pray or just really think about my life. I'll be turning 47 years old, and I've had quite a life. I think... As Kanye West once said, God kind of shows out himself through my life with the things that everyone thinks are impossible and he somehow does and he loves me and I believe that he loves all of you. And for those of you on my page who don't even believe in God whatsoever, you don't have to believe in God for him to be real. And I ask that you have a special encounter so that you can know how absolutely profound the love of God can be in your life. So I love, love, love you all to all my friends new and old and I hope to you again really soon god willing so remember nothing's truly impossible there's just a different way of doing it the sun's about to set